Okay, this op shop has been absolutely killer and these are 50 cents for them and we just found Tomb Raider. Op shopping down the coast today uh, with the fan bam actually, which is always fun. Um, I'm trying to remember what was here last time. I'm positive they had some games, but it looks like they may have sold them because um, they had quite a few PS3 games here, yeah, but they've only got FIFA and Dollar and another FIFA, unfortunately. Ooh. And a really cool old crosswords. Don't have this one. Ooh, it's pretty cool. So, a little disappointed that they don't have oh, some sealed DVDs actually. They've got a couple Cinderella, Little Mermaid. Mm. I actually have two lots of this. I wonder how much they are. I do love those movies. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't know if anyone would know this. Bear. And more games and stuff like that. Hopefully. Always double check just in case you can find a really good full set of something. And. Ooh. Heck yes. two dollars five dollars tv series and movies only five for two dollars that is unreal i definitely will probably get some of these and so um it's very very hell jam movies i'll probably get those sealed um, kids ones to be honest since yeah buy for two dollars that's a really good deal what else is here there is some good ones some classics but I'm not sure exactly what I want to get all of them <laughs> but there are some good deals That one and oh surprise this is actually even here. That is crazy. This is a really good movie everyone. Um I feel like I just seen another one but I can't. Hmm. I feel like they're all gonna fall down on me. Sort of like different ones that I don't really see very often. The reason why I do is because if you want to turn, you know, flipping DVDs into money for games, it's always a really good suggestion. What do we have today? Nothing in the kids section. No hidden games or anything like that. Now they did. I feel like they had way more DVDs last time we were here. Ooh, ooh, box sets and games. So let's see how much they all are. We'll start at the top. Some Halo, $5. Hmm, hmm. Good to see games though. Never know, you might find something that's worthwhile. iToy farming, PC, 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 PC. I think I'm really after there. Don't know the games. Next, Worms World Party. We'll pick it up for five dollars on eBay. Oh, five star presents. 
Lifting again. Alright. PC. XCOM 2. V4. Not looking promising. Mountain bike adventuring, sing stars. Got those. I'm not going to be paying five dollars for them. It's ridiculous. Assassin's Creed. Oh, trivial pursuit. Nope. DVDs. Now, last time um, the lady did do a deal from memory, um, but since I have a lot less, I kind of feel like they're not going to. At least there's some games. No PS1 games. <laughs> One day, I hope, I strike jackpot. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, yeah. I can't remember if this is their first CD that actually is um, worth quite a bit. Uh, I have come across one of these once before. I'm pretty sure that's the cover, but it was so many years ago, I can't remember. Um, and for those of you that may not know, Powderfinger is an Australian band. Um, I'm going to have to check this one out and come back to you. Give me a sec. Update. It's still worth over 30 bucks, so I'm going to pick it up. Um, it's not the one that I thought it was, but yeah, it's still a good find. And I have had a look to see if they do have that um, original CD here somewhere, but don't. They've got another Powderfinger CD though. Double Allergic. It's a really good uh, CD, everyone around the world watching. I definitely recommend listening to that band. I mean, these are awesome. So, we are at this um, Vinnie's, I think it is. We haven't been here before. I didn't even know this Vinnie's existed. Um, I actually had a bike exactly the same as this. Five bucks, that was crazy. Um, and I had my eye on this little bike. Look at it. Oh. I'm actually in love. Bob. Look at this little bike. And I had this bike when I was a teenager. Nah, the little blue one. You had that as a teenager? No, 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 one like this. Oh, that's so cool. Mm. I really want that bike, by the way. <sighs> How can I convince him? What the hell? This is like double level. How are you supposed to even get to the bottom of this? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, thank God. How much are they? All DVDs checked. Hmm. This is cool. Oh, yeah. How much are they, though? Do you know how much they are? Is that? I'm not sure. Is that Haven't you seen it? No, it's a classic. Have. I like probably yes. Probably is a kid. Got a good one. Mm. Alright. Yeah, do you want to hang on to those? We'll see how much they they end up being. Mm -hmm. We can get a deal. Bits and pieces everywhere. Now remember, I always look at cups and glasses in case there is anything gaming related giveaway stuff. I still love to get my hands on a Sony, um, the wines, they, used, they gave away some wines at some point, I think, in the 90s. I'd love to get my hands on one of those. But we've got some speakers. Ooh, 
got the Wii, Wii Fit board. What else? Well, there's more DVDs and CDs over where the people are, so I'm going to go and check those out in a second. But no consoles. Sometimes I found at Vinnie's stores they have the consoles in these sections, but not today. Some speakers. Hi. Little, oh. I don't know what that is. It's pretty cool though. Can't really see a year on it. And also looking for, I can't think of what brand it is, but it's like a CD player that looks kind of like this. Um, I think it's an American Psycho. Ooh, more speakers and loads of Sony ones, I think. Hubby is definitely going to probably take a look at those ones for sure. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, I'm going to go grab him. Oh, yeah. You're not bad. That looks pretty good. Mm. Uh, oh, no. Nah. No? It's cheap one. Oh, okay. Nothing. See, it's a nice. Hard one to it. Yep. Well. Good to know. There's some other bits and pieces around. Like, what's this? I didn't know what this thing was, but I think it's like not like your oh, yeah. original one. No, it's still good. Yeah. Shit, sorry. I don't know how much it is or anything. I didn't know if there was like a year or something on it. Pretty cool though. Yeah, it's just a, um, yeah, it's a basic one. Mm. Scratched it. And then there's more. I need some um, beige, more beige speakers. There's these big ones down here, but they look like Akai ones or something. Nice little games. These don't be fucked on this. What do we got? We got it. That's awesome, good job. How much are the, um, oh, sorry. Cents. Oh, everything's 50 cents? Okay, cool, all right. Sounds good to me. All right, Dishonored. Rugrats go wild, PC, hmm. What else? Some Wii Fit Pluses. Good. Being wet. Oh no, that's okay. I can check them quickly before I. <laughs> Some Blu rays. Virtual tennis. 50 cents. Don't go wrong. I wonder if they're going to have any more hiding around in here. Oh, we got a bed in the water. They're cleaning you up. There's more there. I'm not sure. I haven't checked those. I'm not sure. Some of them are. I'm not even right. sure what that is. Right, I'm going to check these. Glad I found some games. Okay, this op shop has been absolutely killer and these are 50 cents for them and we just found Tomb Raider and I think you've found some good stuff. Yeah, Hang on. All right. Oh, Carol King musical. There, we've got two of these 100% hits of 93, um, but I'll give one to a friend, obviously. How cool is this? Oh, what did they call uh, Jumanji. And what was the other one? Uh, Twister. Uh, Twister. <laughs> Which one did they play first? Twister. Twister. Uh, Twister? We saw Twister. <laughs> so good. Blinky Bill, Hello Kitty, Cricket 97, and this game, which we're not sure anything about, but it looks like a Doom copy. Oh, 
just incredible. I'm so glad we can find old games in op shops still, especially 50 cents each. It just goes to show that they're out there, everybody. Um, yeah, so, so good. And we're just gonna keep looking through every single thing now. So had a huge lot of stuff traded in, but they've got a um, PS3, it says with accessories, buzz with the buzzers, PS2s. Um, has stick drift the orange. Look, sealed. PS2 controller, $39 black one, brand new. I've obviously had a lot of stock coming because we were here a few months ago and there wasn't really anything. You know, we up the top there. All right. Some um, good games here, so like Undercover, um, Heavenly Sword, Ninja Garden 2, um, Nine Box. Not bad, they've gone up a little bit. Cashies were sort of like hovering around, I think, uh, $5 for games. Some pretty expensive Wii games there, but they have extra. Um, PS2 games. I really don't remember them being here last time. Interesting. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh, Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city. I don't know if I have that. $19. Ooh. Why couldn't it be like $2? <laughs> um, we've got lots of Wii Fit, Wii Fit Plus, Wii Play, Wii Sports, and Just Dance. So they've got Spo there for um, 9 and 29, Crash Nitro Kart, Ratchet and Clank, 3 for $9, Just Dance 2. Um, Crash Tag Team Racing, Russian Tank 3. Hmm. Just wish it were a little bit cheaper. Ooh! GameCube game. Smuggler's Run, War Zones. Well, everyone, I'm now home and look at all the goodies we picked up. This is such an incredible find. Uh, Brisbane's been pretty dry lately, so we decided to head down to the Gold Coast, we got the family together, and we went uh, out on an afternoon op shop. We only hit three on Friday afternoon, and then uh, we did actually check out cash converters. That was Friday. And we went to another op shop on Saturday morning. So I've just kind of like separated them here for a minute. We're going to go through each one. So this was op shop two. Op Shop 1 and Op Shop 3, I had to think about that. Uh, and then obviously cash converters and the other Op Shop we stopped in to on Saturday. But all of these piles here cost $57. So I think each piece roughly works out to between um, 50 cents and a dollar. So that is an incredible find and I can't wait to share with you guys. So I'm gonna run through each one quickly because some have games and some are just DVDs, but they're probably worth looking at flipping to obviously put into a, our game fund. So trying to save up and look for some other big box sets for the Super Nintendo and some more Super Nintendo boxed games. So that's what I'm going to be reinvesting it in. The games are getting quite, quite pricey at the moment. So I can't believe I said that. Uh, right. Um, they're getting quite pricey at the moment. So uh, I'm looking forward to sort of getting a kitty together and trying to find some bargains. Line. I still really want Pokemon Rocky, but let's get into it. So uh, at this particular op shop, everything was really, really cheap. There's like five CDs for $2, I think, and maybe five DVDs for $2 or something. It was something like that. It was like super, super crazy. So we picked up a U2 CD. Living End, which is an Australian band, Yothu Indie, which is Australian, South Park, Chef Aid, and Crash Test Dummies. So there's some classics there. And then we ended up picking up some DVDs. Now, I think some of these may be in the wrong pile, actually, now looking at them. I think The Fly and Breaker Morant were actually at this store. But The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, there was a sealed copy of a Disney classic, The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. I don't have this on DVD, so I was really happy, and it's brand new sealed. There is um, Dead Ahead, also this really cool pack with Moonstruck, Benny and June Mermaids. Now, as I said, this cost 
like 50 cents technically so uh, this DVD set particularly is selling for anywhere between 30 and 40 dollars uh, so that was like a really good pickup to grab then there's some other ones here um, Aspen Extreme Double Down Alice in Chains Unplugged another one for the collection I love these um, El Mar Mariachi and Desperado Merlin now I think this one can go for a little bit so not bad for 50 cents if you can sell it for 20. Mandy, I wasn't going to leave it. I like this movie. You should check it out, everybody. Uh, this one is The Secret of Moonacre. Don't know about this one, but it seems to be one that could be popular. And then there's just some other old ones here. So Money for Nothing, a Danielle Steele's one. Uh, Indian Summer, I think this one is. Another Rescuers. This one's sealed, so I'll give that to a friend. And then a Dolly Parton movie called Straight Talk. So those ones are all a bit of a mixed bag and they are all really unique ones so I've told you guys before when you're looking at maybe doing some reselling or something like that definitely don't discard some DVDs that you've probably never looked at before or never heard of just check I highly recommend doing that the next stop shop that we went to is uh, one they had quite a lot of stuff a while ago now I think about it had a wall full of DVDs and then it's kind of like slowly didn't I don't know it didn't have anything but we did pick up a few little bits and pieces so there was this cute 1996 family mart mug that is just super 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 cute so definitely was gonna grab that we picked up a couple of CDs again so dance machine 20 um, these are all pretty wrecked discs but we were gonna take a chance because we don't have them in the collection a meatloaf the best of and a Powderfinger CD. So this is one of their very first CDs. Powderfinger is an Australian band and this CD is quite quite hard to come by in the op shops. I think this is the second time I found it and it sells for around $30 or $35. It used to sell for quite a lot more than that but um, not bad for I think they were a couple of dollars at this store. So the average out price obviously will come down to you know splitting across everything to a dollar a piece or just under a dollar. But this store had some other really cool stuff. They had this, um, <laughs> this is um, the, a fairy book. Uh, and you guys are gonna be like, what the heck is that? But there was an original book released in the 90s, I think. And it was like all these pressed fairies um, and paintings. So this is like, I don't wanna say it's a sequel, but apparently it's the brother of, or the stepbrother of, or someone of um, the original person who did the book. So this is just more of a collector's thing for me to have the two books together, cause I like the other one. And Michael J. Fox book. But how cool is this? On the way out the door, this was not caught on camera, it's always the way, camera was away, um, Retro ended up looking through the, the glass cabinet and sort of tucked away underneath something was this Sony Walkman and it looked pretty rough, don't get me wrong, on Saturday, uh, sorry, on Friday afternoon and he cleaned it up. It looks absolutely incredible. This one also does recording, it's a recorder as well. So. This was an epic find. Ended up being $5 for this particular one. Uh, we weren't sure if it was going to work or not. It did have about a, a, a tiny bit of um, battery corrosion, but it's been cleaned up. It works absolutely perfectly. Uh, so that was something that we will keep in the collection. It is not something you will come across any, like you don't find this stuff anymore, especially here in Australia. So, the value on this is probably 170, 180 plus, but this baby is staying in the collection. So we've got a couple of these now uh, from, you know, obviously family and stuff like that, but we found one in an op shop and it is super, super clean. So this is like our bargain store hunting like this time around. So we definitely did quite well. I'm gonna go through the games Is a game. I'll go through the games last for you all because there is an absolute banger in there. But we've got The Fly, Break Morant, The Cave, The Iron Giant, a Buzz movie. Now these ones, like, you, as soon as you would ever list something like this, they would go straight away. Little Shop of Horrors, uh, something that I'm really interested in watching, Roach Approach, The Abyss, a Wiggles sealed one. 
Never Ending Story 2, Batteries Not Included, and The Time Machine. So they're all uh, decent DVDs, regular, popular ones. Uh, a lot of these are either out of print or not available on streaming services. So that's kind of what you want to look for. Now, here are some absolutely just incredible finds. Uh, this was like a Sony celebrates the 10th anniversary of CD. So it's like 1983 to 1993. It's just like a, a obviously gift giveaway Sony CD. Um, very, very cool. We, we love Sony stuff and we try to collect it and preserve it and uh, all those types of things. So very happy we found that. Carol King S Club 7, I know. Um, there's a Blinky Bill uh, one. I think this might be a CD-ROM or a PC game or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but the hubby picked that one up. Uh, we ended up getting two of these because it's so hard to come by here in Australia, like the compilation CDs in decent condition. So this was 100% hits of 93. And then we're getting into the game. So there was some crackers. Um, there is the Volume 2 Sega Mega Drive Classics. I think I ended up paying five dollars for this one but I didn't mind because I would like to have the whole set I think there is a couple more I'm just trying to look past camera and see where the other ones are but yeah there's one down there I think so um, I'm not sure many how how many volumes there are but I definitely really love the artwork and it's just good to have these um, games we fit plus NHL and virtual tennis so they did those for 50 cents which cool Sega one was uh, five dollars and then we have these last CDs. So there's a Tiny Toon, Buster and the Beanstalk. Uh, that is, yeah, it's so cool. I think I have this on PS1, Japanese PS1 version. Hello Kitty, Cutie World. I just said yes, pick this up because Hello Kitty is like super cute and not sure what it is really, but I think it's another PC game. So it's really cool. There's also Cricket 97, so PC. And then the last two finds. Now, this is missing a disc, I've since found out. But for 50 cents, finding something with the double case in reasonable condition, like there's no cracks to the case, is really, really good. So this is Tomb Raider 2. It normally has the second disc in there. Um, but then we've got the PC CD-ROM there. So really, really happy with this find. Um, I was looking through the CDs and I ended up seeing uh, the name of it. I just was like, this is so cool. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a soundtrack or not, but as soon as I seen that it was going to be the PC version. So, so cool. Great to know that there's still retro games in op shops along with this classic. Now, Blood, this is a copy of quite a rare game. Um, we didn't know at the time when we picked this up, that's what it was going to be. But again, really good find, 50 cents. Uh, this has quite a huge value on it. The big box goes for like $700, I think. But this game alone will probably be about 150 Australian, uh, but we'll obviously keep it in the collection because we found it uh, for virtually nothing. And uh, we love to try and keep those games in the collection. But it's really, really cool. So you guys are gonna have to let me know if you've played Blood again loved that i could find some classic games okay the the tennis one and nhl probably not but it was really good to find some retro games pc related to go into the collection so i think that's been pretty good so far and the fact that we found the mini disc player which is epic lastly we checked out cash converters on that same day and we paid full price for all of these uh actually the dvds were 50 cents each um, now I've come to think about it, but then we paid full price for these. So we've got Metal Gear uh, Solid. This one is Ground Zeroes plus Phantom Pain Pack. Not one that the hubby had. They had one copy of it there for 35 and this one for 15 So we obviously grabbed this one. There was Motorstorm Apocalypse. So we really loved Motorstorm on the PS3 when obviously it was a launch. So we have just been adding them randomly and we haven't got them all. I think that might be the last one in the collection now. Uh, and then we found some DVDs that might be worth taking a look at or a punt and trying to flip. So there's just like a music one and then some kids DVDs, which are kind of random. Uh, and then for us, Beavis and Butthead do America, which is such a classic. And then lastly on Saturday, 
I never ever go and pay full price for VHS, but these are two that we don't have and we're trying to collect all of these in the big box X rentals here in Australia. So there was um, Champions, so the Mighty Ducks movies. So this one, uh, I think Champions is the first one. Uh, and it was $10 Australian. And then one of my absolute favorite films is From Dust Till Dawn. I haven't got this on VHS. Um, I wanted to pick one of these copies up for such a long time. And I'm so glad I finally was able to find one. And that was 15. So all in all, not with this stuff that's obviously we paid full price for but all of these bargains that was incredible fine for 57 dollars for all of this stuff uh and yeah obviously the standouts of course is this um the mini disc and blood on pc so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think what what did i miss did i miss anything uh would you have picked up some of these is there any great movies that you like uh hit the comment section below and until next time i'll talk to you later